Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kendall Berlin. And today, as you can see, I'm going to be reviewing yet another obscure low budget Kung Fu feature. So, I just thought, well, I like talking about the genre, so here we go. And also, it's on my to-do list. I mean, I mean, okay, technically, it's a notebook, but I'm calling this a to-do list anyway. Because I have a lot of stuff to talk about. I do mean quite a bit. I mean, holy hell. It feels like I'm never going to finish because too much shit. There you go, All right? So, yeah. I just uh, finally got this. I went off the list to talk about, I guess. But anyway, yes, it's going to be the American dub version, folks. Of course, as if you haven't guessed that already. Because, like I said, quite a few times already, find any of the actual versions of these films. I'll pain the ass. Shit. God damn it. Anyway, the film I'm talking about is the one titled Kung Fu Kids Break Away from 1980. And it's also titled this one as well, folks. So, yeah, we're going with this whole scenario. There's more than one title. This one as well, of course. Because, I don't know. Oh, yeah. And also, also, this one as well. So, there you go. Which just makes this entire thing absurdly confusing. Because just with those titles alone, judging from that, you'd be thinking that they're different movies. Even though it's just this one movie you're talking about. But a lot of people won't know that, really. So, it'd be confusing. But anyway, whatever. As always, I have to talk about the plot, so let's get into it, shall we? So here we go. So what's going on here is that, yeah, there is this loner that does join forces with these three martial artists. Of course, they are really impressive. They are experts in Kung Fu. They pretty much train the youth, of course, and they want to challenge the authority of this wicked evil man. And the reason behind this is that the village, the place I live in, is being controlled by this guy. And he's an asshole. So, of course, they have to teach him a lesson, obviously. So, something needs to be done about this because he's basically ruined the area with an iron fist. So, yeah. Of course, that needs to be dealt with, Of course, obviously. So, yeah, there was this, this dude, this evil asshole... This dickhead, he has this strong grip, his control over a village. It's challenged by these, um, by these people. So, there you go. So, yeah, folks, that's basically the summary of the story. And, of course, as you can guess for yourself, that's where all Kung Fu are fighting throughout the entire thing. And, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too shabby, I guess you can say. But, yeah, I thought this one was okay. It's a little too silly for my taste. I mean, okay, okay, okay. Excuse me for repeating something I've already said quite a few times already. And I like Kung Fu, obviously. I keep talking about these movies. And I like comedy. You know, nothing wrong with laughing. But put them together. I know, just, I don't like it like that. <laughs> no. There's something about that just seems off to me. I mean, I'm not saying you can't have comedy bits sprinkled throughout the entire thing, but be really, really heavy-handed with comedy bits. Nah, I just, I don't like that. I mean, yeah, some of it does come off a little silly, but okay, yes, I get it. That was the, that was the point, anyway, to make it seem a bit, you know, goofy. But, I don't know, just makes it, it makes it really campy because of that, like, really campy. And it just, it, it annoyed me on that level, and in, in that way, I guess. And so, overall, I mean, it's okay, I guess, it's alright. Of course, the dubbing isn't very good. But the dubbing for this movie, it's worse than usual. I guess I guess you can say the dubbing here is worse than usual, so. That just made this entire movie experience even more unbearable because of that. Come on, give me a break, will you? 
So the picture quality isn't very good, really, like at all. Kind of reminds me of those uh, VHS tape movies or whatever. So I mean, I kind of like that in some ways. I don't know this. That's something I've mentioned before, actually, but I'll mention it here again. I kind of like that look. It looks has a little bit like. He has like it does look uh, charm to it, I guess you can say. Huh? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm just weird like that. Everybody just wants you know um, HD, uh, 4K or whatever. I guess Blu-ray kind of a thing, quality, but whatever. But I don't know. Maybe just me. Maybe just I'm being weird here. I guess. And yes, an actual VHS tape copy of this movie does exist so yeah uh, i'm guessing this is supposed to be the we call it the english dubbed version of this movie so okay so when it comes to online shopping i, I don't really recommend getting it used because you might get fucked over 99 bucks holy shit so okay for more rental okay there's no slip for this there's no no cover for it like at all Oh, that fucking sucks. So, okay. So, yeah, I'm guessing this is supposed to be the English dubbed version, the one I'm talking about here, folks. Yeah, I actually do miss owning these, actually. They do have their own charm to them, though, when it comes to the VHS tape and stuff. I don't need to get another uh, VHS tape player, though. Come to think of it. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, I, I do miss these, folks. I know this makes me sound old as hell. But that's because I am. Ugh. And I am over 100 years old, folks. I know I don't look like it, but still, I am over 100. Anyway, like I said, this one was decent. I'll give this film an overall rating of a 5.8 out of 10. It's a 5.8 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. Hey, boy.